Lunch money. Lunch money. School lunches are not what they used to be, and junk food brands have taken advantage. Here are 10 junk food brands that profit from school lunch. Domino's. Have you ever uh, hand tossed a pizza? No. Domino's is one of the big brand names that has been involved in schools in various forms. While they're not the only fast food pizza chain that has had an influence on schools and school lunches, they are definitely still one of the biggest players in the school lunch market. Studies have shown that the most popular school lunch option is pizza, because let's face it, most people absolutely love it. Rich people love pizza, poor people love pizza. But that does not mean that it should be on the menu for kids every day. Pizza's not known to be healthy for the most part, or at least not without altering a lot of the ingredients that are found in fast food pizza. There have been plenty of battles fought over whether or not pizza should be included regularly in school lunches, to the point where pizza sauce was even dubbed as a vegetable so that pizza could remain on the menu. Pizza, while delicious, is not a good source of vegetables or really any nutrients. Often greasy and made with plenty of processed food, it includes a lot of calories, sugar, and fats that are not good for anyone, let alone children who are eating it often, Domino's has done everything from supplying food for the actual school lunches themselves to offering rewards programs for kids who accomplish certain grades, where they would earn free pizza if they do well in school. Doritos I was eating spaghetti and Doritos yesterday. It's probably why my fart smells so violent. Doritos are not something that most people would expect to be involved with school lunches, but they are involved in a couple of different ways. The most obvious way is the fact that a lot of schools sell bags of Doritos and other chips either in cafeterias themselves or in vending machines, and sometimes both. Eating Doritos at school as a snack for lunch or later in the day is fine if done occasionally. There's nothing wrong with having a bit of junk food as a snack once in a while, but oftentimes children are eating these items multiple times throughout the week. Wow, that good, huh? Another way that Doritos have infiltrated school lunches is by inserting themselves as an ingredient for certain menu options. One such cafeteria menu item is essentially taco fillings that are piled on top of Doritos chips and mixed up and eaten, kind of like a strange nacho salad. Chips are not a food item that make for a good lunch option, whether they're eaten on their own or as an ingredient with other things. They're full of sugars and sodium that are not healthy for anyone one and should definitely not be eaten by children for lunch at school. Despite this, they continue to be popular among many schools, and the company behind them continues to make large amounts of money off of their use and sale at schools. PepsiCo Alright, give me a Pepsi free. PepsiCo is not the only soda brand that has made its way into schools. In fact, all of the major players have done it in some form or another. Even some smaller soda brands are getting involved in schools. There are many reasons why children should not be drinking most sodas, but the largest is the pure amount of sugar and caffeine available in these drinks. These carbonated beverages are not good for adults to be having regularly, and they most certainly are not good for children. These days, it's extremely easy for children to get their hands on soda at school, whether it's from the cafeteria itself or from vending machines around the building. Soda is addictive due to the amount of sugar in it, and children really shouldn't consume it that often. Most kids do not understand that soda is not healthy for them. All they know is that it tastes great and they love it. Most kids would choose soda over water every single time, not knowing how bad it is for them. If you want zero calorie water, try Diet Water Zero Light. Large companies such as PepsiCo have spent a lot of money to get involved in school lunches, selling their sugary sodas during lunchtime to kids who would then crave the sugar and caffeine later as well. The whole idea behind it is to get kids to want more so they're sales outside of the schools also go up. PepsiCo also offers other products for school lunches, really taking advantage of the captive market. As we press forward, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thank you. Next! General Mills. Okay, what do you want? Two wheels. General Mills is known for making a lot of familiar products, including favorite cereals, pancake mix, cupcake and cake mixes, and various snack foods as well. Snack foods! A lot of their products include a lot of sugar and non-natural ingredients, and they're one of the bigger players in the market of school lunches. Oftentimes, companies will make versions of their snacks that are just a bit healthier for schools, but what it ends up doing is driving these kids to get their parents to buy the same snacks from the grocery stores, which are the full sugar 
and full-fat versions of the snacks. General Mills has been in the snack market for a very long time, and over the years, they've begun making snacks with more and more sugar, because it's what people tend to crave. One of the biggest things that they sell to schools for lunches and breakfast programs is a mini cup of their popular sugary cereals, which then drives the kids to ask their parents to buy those same cereals. Smart, and smart. They also offer a range of pre-made baked goods and yogurt in bulk as well. Yogurt is at least a little better than the baked goods or the cereals, but it too is still full of a lot of sugar. If your child eats breakfast or lunch at school, you can at least attempt to try and get them to choose the healthier options, such as yogurt, over more sugar-filled cereals. Lay's. We're on strike. Hunger strike. You're eating potato chips. Lay's is another chip brand that is popular in schools, maybe even more popular than Doritos, because they offer a lot more variety of flavors. Lay's have all sorts of chip flavor options, including many limited editions that are only available for a certain amount of time. Lay's can be served as a side with a school lunch or purchased individually by the kids themselves in the cafeteria or vending machines. Lay's are known for their heavy salt content, and salt is something that a lot of people end up craving. Oh my god, delicious! The high salt and fat content found in chips is not something that's good for anyone. Having chips like these so widely available for children in schools just encourages bad eating habits throughout their time in school and after as well. Both Lay's and Doritos are made by Frito-Lay, so the company is making a bunch of money off of kids with their different snack foods, none of which are exactly healthy to be consuming every day. The best thing you can do for your child is make sure they know that these types of snacks are not for daily consumption and should be a once-in-a-while treat. Try to stick to healthier snacks if given the choice. McCain Sweet potato fries! McCain is a pretty big household name, best known for their frozen potato products that can be thrown into the oven and made quickly when you don't have time to make fries from scratch. A while ago, large companies such as McCain lobbied to have frozen French fry-style potatoes considered a vegetable serving in school lunches. What? what? While Technically, potatoes are a vegetable. Frozen fries are not what you should be eating when it comes to getting your daily vegetable nutrients. These companies that create these products use all sorts of oils and fats to fry their products before they're frozen and sent out. They also contain large amounts of salt, including a large percentage of your daily recommended sodium intake, which is an even larger percentage of the daily recommended sodium intake for children. Unfortunately, studies have shown that fries are one of the most popular lunch items in schools because they are delicious and kids love them. It is the best. They're also too young to really know better and know that fries are not good to eat all the time. McCain, no doubt, makes a lot of money off of their frozen potato products sold to schools, from different cuts of fries to wedges and tater tots. All of these products are not what should be considered as healthy options in school cafeterias. Kraft Heinz Kraft Mac and Cheese if your parents don't buy it, stop loving them. Cut! Kraft Heinz is a large company that makes a large variety of products. In fact, the majority of households use a Kraft Heinz product daily. From desserts to condiments, they have been large players in the food production game. The company is more than just Kraft Mac and Cheese and Heinz Ketchup, so it's no surprise that they're also involved in supplying things for school lunches as well, as do a lot of large food production companies. Kraft Heinz is probably the largest supplier of ketchup products to schools. And while you would think that there's nothing wrong with ketchup, what a lot of people might not realize is just how much sugar is in most ketchup. Gross. It's gross. All that sugar? It's really gross. On top of that, ketchup was once attempted to be made an official vegetable so that the ketchup could count as a vegetable serving as required by the organizations in charge of setting the nutrition standards for children in schools. Kraft Heinz is not the worst when it comes to offering junk food to kids in schools, but they are definitely one of the companies benefiting from serving things that are less than healthy to children for school lunches. Krispy Kreme. Mm, 
donut. Krispy Kreme is less present when it comes to school lunches, but they have attempted to get involved in schools and school lunches. There are a few schools that have made Krispy Kreme donuts available in their cafeterias, but the bigger way that they've found their way into schools is by offering rewards for kids with good grades or offering free donuts to some high school graduates. While this may seem like a wholesome way to get kids to focus more on school or celebrate those who've finished high school, it's actually a way for Krispy Kreme to get some positive publicity for very little cost. Krispy Kreme provides the donuts to the students at little cost to them, and all sorts of media picks up the story and spreads it around. Hearing the feel-good story, people tend to go out of their way to support them. This is not the worst thing that large companies have done when it comes to providing food to school children. The occasional donut can be a great treat, but they no doubt have made a good amount of money off of these non-advertising attempts at providing free donuts to school children of all ages. Easy money, right? As long as they do not start trying to push donuts as a food group for lunch, Krispy Kreme isn't doing much harm in schools. Quaker. Have you never been to a Quaker fair before? Quaker is another company that is a household name among many, making a range of mostly oat-based products for use at home, work, or school. Quaker is a company owned by PepsiCo, so they're also making money through products such as carbonated sodas. Money, 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 money. Quaker specifically, though, does offer a healthier range of products for school breakfasts and lunches. Bulk quantities of their oats can be bought and used to make healthier options like oatmeal for breakfast. And they also offer granola bars. While granola bars still have sugar and are the less healthy option, they're not as bad as some of the other options out there. Quaker offers some more options for school breakfasts and lunches that are a little better than chips or pizza. You can find Quaker snacks at schools and also on grocery store shelves. So if the kids eat these snacks at school, it's likely that if they enjoy them, they'll ask their parents to buy the same products for home. Easy peasy. So in the end, companies are taking advantage of the free advertising on top of making money from selling their products to schools. Sun made The shriveled husk of Raymond Holt. Look, Gina, is that a talking raisin? Sunmade is all about raisins, and they have stuck to their specialty over the years, for the most part. While they do offer some other products, they've largely just worked on different versions of raisins. Raisins are something that kids tend to either love or hate, and they're often used as quick snacks for young kids. Raisins are actually surprisingly full of sugar, but are still better for a snack than something like potato chips or candy. Not bad. Not bad. The company has collaborated with all sorts of school boards and other organizations that determine what should be served at school lunches, which is a smart idea in order to ensure that they're selling to as many schools as possible. They sell their raisins in different flavor packages, in classic raisin individual packs, or even in large bulk boxes of raisins intended to be scooped out and used in recipes, or simply served as a snack throughout the school day. While Sunmade is simply in it for the profits, they are at least offering a snack that is healthier for children than most of the other available foods out there. Sunmade is just one of many companies that has taken advantage of the need for school breakfasts, lunches, and snacks. But at least they're not pushing unhealthy items like some of the other companies. At least there's that. We've got more. Just tap or click on another video. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.